Zandesk versus Freshdesk, the battle of the giants. Let's go. Today, we're going to look at two softwares that are competing with one another. It's Zandesk with Freshdesk. Now, these guys have been added for a while now. And if you've been on this channel, you know we are a little bit biased towards Zandesk. But we're going to try to do our best to make a comparison between the two, trying to extract myself out of the picture and see which one is more valuable. So yeah, let's go. I'm going to do my best to give this two softwares the benefit of the doubt because they both can solve a problem. However, we're going to try to see if uh, one is better than the other. Let's start off with the history. So Zenda started in 2007, uh, somewhere in Denmark. And so it's, how much is that? It's like uh, 16 years old already. So it's one of the oldest customer service dedicated tools that has off the shelf customer experience processes directly built in. So it was directly created for this purpose. Now, Freshdesk has been created, I think in 2010, and it came out as an exact replica of Zendesk. So a knockoff, essentially. I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I think it's fine, even if you copy somebody and you do it better, but do you do it better? That's the question. Well, good artists borrow and great artists steal. So is this artist uh, actually stealing the right stuff and is it doing it better? Now, there are a gazillion articles out there who are debating which one is better. I, for one, have gone through, I don't know, maybe 20 of these and they're all biased towards one or the other, which means the tools are quite close to one another. So if we look at Help Crunch, for example, for Freshdesk, you have 21 days of uh, free trial. For Zendesk, you have 30 days. That's fine. I mean, if you don't get value within the first five days, let's say seven, you don't really need that tool. There are free plans available for Freshdesk, whereas there, there are none available for Zendesk. All-in-one subscription costs from 35 euros per month, and Zendesk is a little bit more expensive, 59 um, per month per agent. Basic subscriptions cost from 18 per agent per month, and then Zendesk 25. Their business model is both to be pricing based on the number of agents, not necessarily the volume of tickets. For the volume of tickets, you have Gorgeous and a bunch of other tools, but this one is being the best. So who's this best for? This is um, for small and mid-sized businesses businesses, enterprise as well. Zendesk, I see, is mid-sized business and enterprise, which is true. Very small companies, uh, yeah, usually gravitate towards smaller tools. The ticketing system. Now, it has a shared inbox with features like uh, issue tracking, macros, etc. So you have canned responses, real-time status view, live chat, of course. You have knowledge bases for both, multi-language available for Zendesk. Overall impression, more intuitive, intuitive to use. No, it's not. Crash test being the more intuitive to use. I don't think so. I've used both and Zenesk is a lot more user-friendly. Um, can feel a little bit more complicated and disconnected. Yes, I agree, Zenesk does uh, have this problem because it's grown so much and it's doing so many things right now, especially being an omni-channel solution and keeping everything together. So you can definitely find tools out there that do better chat, that do better AI, that do better, I don't know, reporting. But think about it. You have to have a person dedicated to each of these platforms in order to you know, actually get a good result because all of this information is scattered all around a bunch of tools, which doesn't give you clarity and it only gives you a headache. So Zendesk does all of these together into one and that's good because you can have everything together. It's not the best at it, right? Okay, so I can't just uh, say Zendesk is like the, the shit. It's not, uh, you know, you definitely can find an AI that can do better. The current Zendesk AI does. You can definitely find a better chat system than Zendesk does intercom or yeah, intercom actually, because that's just what they do. They do chat. They don't do CRM. They don't do business rules. They just do chat really well, and which is no, they do, but you know, they're just adding stuff there, you know, which they started off from a thing like chat. And then now they're just building up on that. Whereas Zenda started as a customer service tool and they're, they're building on that. So the foundation is pretty, 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 pretty good. Reports. Yeah, good. Very extensive and insightful. Yeah, you can see a bunch of stuff in um, in both. Zenesk is a little bit more, <laughs> gives you a little bit more insights because it has more data that you can play around with. In Captera reviews, it's 4.5 out of 5 based on 2,000 reviews. And then this is 4.4 based on 3,000 reviews. Pretty close. G2 reviews, so 4.4 and this is... Uh, 4.3 out of 5,000. Now, it is worth mentioning that Zendesk was voted uh, G2's best software for 2023. Uh, as you can see here, they also have a, um, yeah, in New York, they 
they appeared and they were actually boasting with it because why not? You know, this is an achievement. We voted uh, number one best software for 2023, which is amazing. Yeah, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, Zenas earns number one spot for best software product, best customer service product, and product for mid markets by G2. And there's a very cool graphic. What else? Let's look at some other places where these tools are being compared. Let's go to core features. So these two both the same thing in terms of the features that they have some of them do some of these features a little bit better they have self-serving portals so they both do that where you can use artificial intelligence and encourage self-service so crm customer management so what zendesk has uh, as an extra and its portfolio is the Zenda Sunshine platform, which is a fully featured CRM software uh, that powers integrations, automations, and uh, analytics. And we've built a bunch of apps all for Zenda Sunshine. Zenda Sunshine, what essentially is, is for companies to be able to expand their data models. I know it might sound too fancy. I will link a video on uh, an app that we've created to help with this uh, data set. So Freshdesk does not have a CRM system integrated, but in, it integrates with a bunch of other CRMs. All right, so now we're on Forbes. Freshdesk has 4.2 on Forbes. Zendesk has 4.3. So another close call. Now, integrations, it's worth mentioning that uh, Freshdesk has uh, 1,000 plus apps and integrations. Zendesk has 1,300. Well, I don't know when this is from, but it seems like outdated. It's definitely close to 1,500 now. Zendesk has, let's see, custom branding. Both, the, both of these have it. And then channels that both system offer support for let's see fresh desk via email so they offer email twitter facebook phone web widget website and mobile software developer kit so sdk a little bit more channels with send us you also have whatsapp you have voice uh you have voice both you have text as well web widget website mobile sdk live chat which i don't see and then you have api of course so which uh, the api you can integrate with many systems which uh we've done over 60 integrations like this with the help of the Zendesk API. So yeah, that's uh, also a big plus that you can do. Okay, so I've been talking you through a little bit of features and also the channels and uh, the prices and the history. Uh, let's see what the community is saying. So let's uh, open up what some of our customers that are transitioning from Freshdesk to Zendesk have to say. This is uh, collected from companies that have migrated from Freshdesk to Zendesk and they have this to say. So Freshdesk promises on integrations with many systems, but they don't do them, especially the Salesforce integration, which is not working very well. The Salesforce integration with Zendesk is working very good. Freshdesk is not very easy to use. This is not my words. This is like what people are saying. Zendesk has more features. Yes, and we've seen them outlined in various uh, comparing articles. Once you've got Zendesk, you recognize that most big companies use it. Yes, I agree. Most of the companies that use Zendesk are pretty big about customers. These are some of the logos that work with Zendesk. So I don't know if you recognize any of these, but yeah, these are pretty big. Most of them. Uber, Bolt, Squarespace, MailChimp, Shopify, Coursera, Net. Netflix, Siemens, Vodafone. Yeah, I guess uh, there's plenty of them here that you can choose from. So yeah, these are all Zenas companies, over 160K customers, like logos, right? So each of these have, I don't know, however many agents in 160 plus countries. And let's look for Freshdesk, companies using Freshdesk. So I think Freshdesk has about 50,000 companies. Yeah, so we have 50,000 customers. Okay, very good. They have, okay, Bridgestone. Uh, I don't know the rest, but yeah, so I don't recognize any of these, but maybe you do. Now, I have to give good due credit and admit that it is the case that I had a case where somebody was deciding between Zendesk and Freshdesk and they went with Freshdesk and they're still with Freshdesk and they said, yeah, we're doing fine, we're expanding and we're happy. So that is also the case. Now, the number one thing that you have to decide uh, is essentially what kind of problem is it fixing for you? I mean, how much time of day you want to give the software? My rule of thumb is if it solves more problems for me, but I have to give more money, then fine, I'll do it because I'll have some free time to focus on other things for my business, right? That uh, generate more, more value for my business. Now, all I want to say is they both can solve a problem. They are both good with the customer service. By the way, there is an ebook 
downloadable in the description of this video where you can find tips for how to make your customer service system more efficient. It's agnostic of the tool you use. We're in a decade of experience, so there's a lot of stuff that we've learned and we've comprised into this ebook that you can find in the description to help you in your journey. Also, I will purposely want to share, for example, you to maybe like and subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, at the end of the video so that you maybe, you know, you decide after you've seen the video and maybe you consider if it's worth it or not, right? Usually I put it in the beginning, but then you know, you're, if you don't know me, then you don't, don't get any value. So, you, you know, I'm asking for your subscription too soon. So hopefully this will bring you value and will help you decide. I'll see you in the next one and bye.